Jim Rupp here at Columbus Percussion to talk about a, a way cool vintage Camco kit. We've actually had in for quite a while because we had to restore it, but they came out gorgeous. Uh, between our shop tech Ed and one of our staffers Ethan, they really did a nice job cleaning up this kit. It's got some cool stories to it. The original owner we don't know, but the guy who brought him into us had bought, as you can imagine, the three drums, which was common in the day, in the mid 60s. Then about a year after he bought these three, he added the 14 inch floor top. The, the wraps really match, they're really close, they've all got the tuxedo lugs on them, but because they're maybe a, a year, maybe a couple years apart, these two drums have the, uh, the brass type rolled over casings, I think they're called Generation 2. Again, you camp co-aficionados probably know more of these details than I do. Uh, this does have steel hoops on it. The other interesting thing was the guy who bought these, none of these three original drums had badges. And there was no shadow, like, you know, five years ago they have been taken off or something. So again, as most of you know, Tom owns the rights to the Camco name, and they make these badges. So we matched the badges on those three drums with the Oakland badge that was original on this drum. They look original, they look immaculate, but technically these three badges are new. The other new piece, and again the drums came out beautiful, this is a Donette, uh, what's that called? Beer Tap George Way Throw Off. It's my first experience with this throw, but it works beautifully. It's very simple, very elegant. Uh, it's kind of like almost a scaled down Noble and Cooley throw off, very simple. Or a Gretsch Lightning, something similar to that. Uh, our kudos out to our friend Ron Donnett for making so many of these cool parts for us. Uh, let's see. Ah, a couple things you should know about. The owner who had these, his father, I guess, made him this L arm symbol mount. And it, it was very functional, but it was not very attractive. How's that for being nice? So we found a generic mount, fit the exact holes, and it's holding up an L, a Ludwig L arm. But that is not an original Camco or Ludwig Gretsch mount on there. The guy who owned these took these several years ago to a music store, and unfortunately, they did some things which we're not real thrilled about. So they couldn't find this throw off, and I guess the original was broken. They drilled two holes to mount a rather generic and rather cheap throw off on it. So there are two additional holes here above and below the beer tap. They also mounted a rather crude snare drum internal muffler in it. And we were able to use the same holes and mounted a Ludwig vintage muffler on the inside with a Gretsch knob. And it looks very period. These are all period parts and it works beautiful. Uh, one other caveat, unfortunately, the store also recut the snare bends and did a dreadful job at it. Our shop tech here is quite something and really does a great job. And Ed took my Camco of this, this vintage, which is an immaculate shape, and matched these snare beds to mine. So I'm going to put money, these are as good as original beds, but technically they are not original beds. So we have a 5x14, 8x12, 14x20, 14x14 in sky blue pearl tuxedo lugs. It's a really cool kit. They're in great shape. Come check them out online. We've got some great photos. Thanks for tuning in.